Yes, it's finally happened. I've descended into the realm of roleplay content. Well, at least I'm going to attempt to. There's an outbreak happening in the real world. I'm bored as hell, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well, so... I want to play something that's like GTA, but isn't shit. So here we are, in GTA, but not GTA Online because I don't feel like punching myself today. I was recently playing an old game on my modded Xbox OG called Big Mother Truckers. It's an open world driving game where you buy and sell stock using a semi truck and you attempt to make profit and then go out and buy upgrades and stuff. It's the most fun I've had out of a video game I've had in a long time. And I was inspired. Double dang damage. So I went ahead and logged into this server that I've previously shown off in a video I did before where I was searching around for fun 5M servers. This one seems the most polished out of the bunch, so it's the server that I've chosen to be playing on. You're welcome! Anyways, obviously you can be a trucker in this server, but what do you need to get started? You need money, and how do you get money? You need to get a crappy van that you get for free to start you off. But, making money using the free van that you get is slow. But no matter, as there is another much faster way to make money without even having to own a vehicle. Simply steal the car, go to random spots in the map where there's glowing beams of light coming up from the ground, and then collect treasure chests. I was having a play on this server before deciding to make a video on it, and to say that it's a superior way to make cash would be an understatement. Using the van to make deliveries, I managed to make about $10,000 in about an hour, but not only did I have a loan for the bus that I bought in the video that I did ages ago of the same amount, I was also getting caught by those bloody speed cameras! So I ended up with a remaining loan of about 6000 as well as having negative 5000 ish dollars. So so all in all, I was about $11,000 moneyless, but, uh, but that was until I started looking around for treasure. The prizes you get in them vary massively, but some of the prizes can be converted into large sums of money, which in a matter of minutes not only was enough for me to pay off my huge loan, but also got me $40,000 rich. So for those looking for some advice in life, if you're down on your luck, you owe people money, you can't buy anything. All you have to do is just steal someone's car, then go looking around for beams of light that you may or may not have been hallucinating. Anyways, here we are, my current status in the server. While I've been explaining all of this, I've been doing nothing but looking around for treasure, so let's see how much stuff I've been able to procure in this short manner of time. And then I'll get back to you with an update. So after all of that, I can safely say that it was definitely worth the time looking around for chests. With the newfound amount of money, I'm definitely on my way to being able to undertake trucking jobs in a proper semi-truck rather than just being a white van man. But while the amount of money that I have is definitely a lot, it's still not quite enough to go out and buy a truck as well as a trailer, so as much as I hate to say it, oh, we need to pilfer some more treasure on the streets. One thing I forgot to mention is that the speed cameras in the server, while annoying and a pretty big obstacle for any new player to the server, are somewhat fair. I believe the speed limit throughout the entire server is 65 miles an hour, which is both in busy populated areas as well as the highway. Whenever you get caught by a speed camera, its location is marked on your map for the rest of the play session, and you can memorise the locations of the speed cameras so that you can know when to slow down and when you can put the foot down. One thing I don't really understand is the fact that even if you're in a car that you've stolen and you get caught speeding, somehow, magically, you still get the fine. Such a thing wouldn't really happen in real life unless there was some sort of super high-tech facial recognition software being used by the cameras, like in China. If that was the case, I think the speeding ticket would be the least of your worries, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really make much sense, but hey, it's a thing. While I was collecting chests at this time, I got pretty lucky and there was a spontaneous drop of a whole bunch of new chests, so I definitely racked up my fair share of speeding tickets to get to them first. After all that, let's see what we've won. 
Oh, hell yeah! Inside one of the chests, I managed to procure myself a speed trap detecting radar. Needless to say, this would prove to be quite the valuable item which I would use non-stop. Later on, after collecting even more chests and waiting for another batch to drop in the map, I decided to visit what was marked as the Fountain of Wealth. I wanted to take a look and see what it was all about, and to my surprise, it is a literal Fountain of Wealth. It's a place where players could donate money if they wanted to, but more importantly, it's a place where I could get FREE MONEY! in batches of $500, which would drop like twice every second, up to a thousand of them per charge. So I left my character AFK for a little bit while it collected money, and I absolutely missed a crab the hell out of the fountain. So I think it's time I went ahead and bought myself a truck and a trailer, and finally begin to do some real jobs within the server. I'ma just buy this and that, and... where is it? Why can't I select my truck? Where, where's my truck? Oh, I get it, you have to go to a particular garage spot in the map. How was I supposed to know that? Anyways, now that I have the truck and trailer that can carry a substantial amount of weight, it's finally time to figure out how to properly use this thing. At first, it was quite possibly the most confusing thing I've ever seen in any video game to date, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty efficient. The confusion of this system is probably why I didn't make much money using my van, because I probably wasn't even using its storage, and I was only carrying stuff in my personal inventory. Whoops, but that's what you get when you have a confusing inventory management mechanic in your server. So, how do you use it? Well, so what you have to do is pull up and tell the game that you want to buy stock in either packs of 1, 10 or 100. When done so, once every second, the game will attempt to fill up your personal inventory full of said stock. But that's only personal inventory, and since there's a carry limit for everything, you have to transfer it to your trailer. You have to navigate through a menu, tell how much at a time you want to transfer from personal inventory to a trailer inventory, and then wait and keep pressing buttons as you slowly transfer from one to another. The same can also be said when selling stock, since the game will only sell off stock that you are carrying in personal inventory. It's a confusing system to say the least, but once figured out, it was time to hit the road. Speed trap radar on hand. Putting all bad radio on trial, it's Judge and Jury, Fanny Jo Styles. Now you know I was downtown the other day on my motorcycle. A big Harley. What else would I have? Now come on, you know I'm all five foot ten and I got to have myself something big and wonderful to ride on. Anyway, I was downtown and you know what? I was almost accosted. I have a black belt, so of course I was not concerned. However, Double dang dang. I the and, yang, and I told them I still used to baby. Your resolution or image transfer interface lagging behind the competition? Jizz Drive! The only upgrade your computer needs! If your entertainment requires superior picture resolution and an advanced image transfer interface, Jizz Drive! For all your manual entertainment needs! Jizz Drive should not be used to store or sell pornography. Hey, Bobby. You wanna see my pussy You know, funny story, the soundtrack of this radio comes from GTA 2, and I remember watching my sister of all people playing this game. She was driving a taxi and this exact song was playing. Right before she was about to go over a ramp, the lyrics so lift me up. were sung immediately before she went up a ramp, something happened and then she exploded. It was a pretty memorable moment in my youth, I'm not gonna lie. After buying the semi-truck, I very quickly found out that the model for the truck is... unfinished to say the least. For one, the wheel isn't even correctly aligned, the texture mapping for the seats is way off, and worse of all, I can see that the seat's texture mapping is incorrect because the back of the cab is missing. Yeah, no idea how that happened. After I had gotten the hang of buying and selling stock, I thought it would be a great time to address the issues of the rather... ugly model of the truck and make it into something a little nicer. Ah, 
after a couple more runs of buying and selling, I figured it would be a great time to end it there. Perhaps we'll carry on in the future instalment if you guys are interested in me making more content like this. I've noticed people saying in the comments that I should try out stuff like this on my channel, but I wasn't really sure how to structure this kind of video, as I didn't really want it to be just another Let's Play, which is what I assume most roleplay videos are about. Let me know what you guys think about it in the meantime. I hope you enjoyed watching me dive into the world of roleplay servers. I certainly enjoyed my time here, and will most certainly be playing onwards in the future. Anyway, see you around, folks.